Hello community! Today I want to show you my top 5 videos on YouTube regarding the topic of self-attention in Transformers. So I set out for an experiment. I watched 72 YouTube videos. When I entered the query in YouTube, self-attention transformer modules. And I performed this on my personal Google account. So yes, there maybe was some predisposition. And it took me more than almost close to two days, one and a half day. I have watched hours and hours of YouTube video only on the topic of self-attention. Because I just did a video on this and you can see it in my, in my channel. But I wanted to know, hey, I was not satisfied with my video. I wanted to know, how can I improve myself? So I watched all these videos and I had four questions. Which video did I like the most? Where did I learn the most? Which video provided me with new insights? And which video ignited my creativity? Now, these are the four questions as set out. And here are the results. After two days, you know, attention is all you need. This is the scientific preprint from December 2017 from Google and Google uh, Research and Google Brain. And they invented or they published the first time self-attention in Transformers. And the first category I have to tell you goes to this particular video. It is the visual most stunning video of the 72 videos that were proposed, were presented to me by my YouTube account. And if you have never seen a multi-head self-attention mechanism in play, here in this video you have a 3D presentation and look here, the self-attention heads. I have never seen a complete visualization with all the 12 self-attention heads in a bird module. So beautifully, the visual price goes definitely to Peltarion. And I leave you the link, of course, in the description of this video. And this video is called How to get meaning from text with language model like BERT, AI explained. An excellent video. You have something beautifully, some stunning visualization in 3D going on and you understand exactly what you are looking for and what is going to happen. Really nice visual. This is it. Next category. Code. Chris McCormick. I know the videos from Chris McCormick, I think, for years. He's an Australian, I'm an Austrian, so we're on the opposite side of the globe, but I do like his videos. Now, as you can see here, this is episode 5, Inner Workings Part 2, Self-Attention, and he has more than 50 minutes where he's trying to explain self-attention. And I like this presentation because it's close to the code and you can see absolute authentic how he's trying to understand how he's fighting with his understanding what he imagines when he sees this line of codes, when he reads the research paper. A very, very intuitive approach. But if you are looking for a code base approach, this is the video I would recommend to you. The channel is Chris McCormick AI, and the video is called Bird Research, Episode 5, Inner Workings 2, Self-Attention, also from 2020. And here we go, next category. I called it Detail. I don't know why, but I like this video from Sebastian Rushka. It is extremely detailed in a mathematical dimensionality sense. You know, he's really trying for all the word embeddings he's presenting here, x1, x2, xt, for each single word. He's trying to show you your all the trainable weight matrices that are built upon this uh, single word embedding. And he's really trying to give you all the mathematical details in a very nice way. And the video is called L19.4.2 Self Attention and Scale Dot Product Attention by Sebastian Ruska. I'll leave you the link in the description. If you like this mathematical formula based, very abstract mathematical and very detailed approach, this is the video for you. Next category 
some novelty. I was not prepared what I saw here, but I have to mention this on special honor. If you really want to see, you know, a lot of those 72 videos, more than 50 videos had the same content, the same structure, the same approach to the topic. It is, it's, I don't know, after 10 hours watching those movies, you really had an idea what's next. Not so with this video. It is from Hidu AI. And it's called Visual Guide to Transformer Neural Networks, Episode 2, Multi-Head and Self-Attention. Very nice. Based on some, I don't know, comic, manga, I don't know, whatever you will call this. Very nice, very intuitive, a very fresh look on this topic. Attention filter, even the wording that, that's not really from the scientific literature, but it makes absolutely sense. So here somebody put really some thoughts in this really nice video. Attention filter suddenly appearing in a multi-head attention. Also trying to cope with this, trying to make understandable what it is that the first filter is filtering on a person, the second filter is filtering on the background or the sky and the third filter for example is filtering here I don't know the mountains or the sea or whatever there is so trying to understand these tensor projections that are going on with our query key and value tensors very nice very fresh intuitive novel approach yes special mention because somebody dared to break out think outside of the box of the box and their box also very nice and now if you are a student of course there is also university lectures now i only looked at the free uh, youtube videos available I was not going into any of Coursera or whatever you have where you have to pay to attend the lectures. This is the free stuff that you can watch wherever you are, whenever you are on the road, waiting for an aeroplane. You can watch on your iPad, on your computer, wherever, and it goes to Stanford online. Really, really nice. You have here a video from a course Stanford CS224N NLP with deep learning from winter 2021 lecture 9 self-attention and transformers I'll leave you the link you know in the description of this video but you see here from this screenshot exactly what you're gonna expect one hour and 17 minutes of pure PhD level on this topic amazing clear beautiful really inside really deep dive into the topic really a lecture you didn't yes one question was left open but otherwise hey if you if you have a look at this or maybe the lecture before and even the lecture after i really can recommend this because this is really reminds me of my time at the university it was so beautiful it is so clear so simple so plain so crisp but it takes time. You really have a deep dive and I hope you're good in physics, mathematics, algebraic topology and so on. Yeah, computer science maybe also. So this is it. Yes, this is the end of the video. Those were my five categories. I hope you enjoyed them and I see you in the next video. And by the way, short preview. Having watched all those 72 videos just by chance, I noticed so many things and maybe I'm going to do a video on how to present some scientific context on YouTube. I have some idea. So if I'm in the mood and you are willing to watch, to listen, and you're interested in this topic, maybe one of my next videos will be how to do the best presentation in a YouTube video. What are the mistakes I do all the time? And maybe you will learn and improve your presentation skills for your professional career. Thank you and I'll see you in the next video.